is Tensi Taylor with richgirlnetwork.tv. I am at the fabulous Beverly Hilton Hotel for the 18th annual First Ladies High Tea. Okay, so you are here this afternoon and you're one of the presenters, am yes, I correct? I'm presenting to my friend, Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas, and I'm very happy that they thought of me to present it to him because we've been friends for so long and he's such a wonderful man, uh, far more than a politician. I would say he is a public servant, very much like my husband, Senator Vincent Hughes from Pennsylvania. Awesome. He does such great work in the he community. Does such amazing work in LA. Long after we're gone, his mark will still be there for people to experience. They may not know, but hopefully through moments like this, they will know that he had the vision to get them done. This event is about recognizing women who have done so much in the community. You yourself have done much to make this world a better place. What motivates you to give back and help others? You know what? To whom much is given, much is required, much is expected. And I just was raised that way, that if you've got it, you've got to share it with your community. You know, people, all kinds of people will always be with us, and you've got to be open to all of those people. Because when we all do well, we all do well. We cannot just leave some people behind and think it's going to be okay. Forget about those people. They're not our kind of people. When you start thinking like that, something is wrong. Not only is something wrong with you, but something is going to be wrong with all of us. Oh, wow. You are such a powerful woman. How do you inspire young people? What advice would you give to those who are aspiring to be actors? You know what? I say get as much education as you possibly can. There are too many unqualified actors out there. They think they're just going to roll out of bed and become an actor. No, it's like being a preacher and not knowing the word. Come on, get into class, get some education, and sharpen your craft. Such a pleasure talking with you. Enjoy yourself. And you come out to the 24th, 25th annual Diva Simply Singing, Saturday, October 24th at the Maltabon Theater, the longest consecutive running musical AIDS benefit in the country. I am there. How does it feel to be here to support these phenomenal women in the community? It's awesome. Of course, First Ladies, we can't do it without them. You know, they, they, they're wonderful. And Lisa Collins, this is the second time she's invited me to be a part. I was here a few years ago with CeCe Winans did it. And so this is incredible. But to be at the Beverly Hilton, I'm like, wow, I've never been to this hotel. I've always driven by it on my way to the Beverly Center to shop. And I always knew this is a really popular hotel. It's a beautiful hotel. She's done a great job. The staging is amazing, the lighting. So we're looking forward to celebrating these great first ladies. Amen. And you're performing this afternoon? Yes, yeah. What song can you say? Or does it want to be a surprise? Oh, no, no. It's no surprise. You know, I've, I've been blessed to have a lot of popular songs. So I'm just going to do like, I'll bless the Lord and probably Broken But I'm Healed, something like that to encourage the ladies. Yes. It's such a trying society with all the violence and everything that's going on. How do you use your music to uplift the community? Well, you know, I, I believe that the, uh, the strong are to bear those that are weak and, and to hold them up. And I think that's what music does. Music encourages them. Music allows them to, even they go through trials and tribulations. When we sing about Jesus, your heart can't be filled with praise and depression at the same time. So what I hope my music does is that it just provides uh, the listener with the type of comfort that they need. to, Even in the midst of what they're going through, no matter what's happening around them, they have the ability to still give God praise and glory in the midst of a storm. So. So what exciting things can we expect from you next? I've got a new record coming out um, next year, early part of next year, and I'm doing some television stuff that's getting ready to, I'm so excited about that. I'm, I'm not at liberty to say until, you know, we finally do all the, the signings and stuff, but it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. I'm doing a lot of t TV stuff at the end of this year and next year, so. Look, that's why I've been losing all this weight, because I, I, I I've lost like, wow, since November of last year, almost 50 pounds. Wow, you look amazing. So I appreciate it, I, I was way out here, and so, I just knew I said for television that won't be good. Oh, I'm people chasing me with a stick thinking I'm a marshmallow or something. So <laughs> No, I should say you go girl. <laughs> so you are such a phenomenal individual from the days of the color purple to your role now in being Mary Jane. How do you continue to be such a successful black role model for you, for women everywhere? I pray every day. <laughs> that everything won't fall apart and that I still have my memory so I can memorize scripts. So God has been good. Been in the business almost 50 years now. Are you serious? Now you look like you should be 50. Almost 50 years. So I say thank you Jesus. I mean I, I'm just truly blessed. I have my health and I just uh, advocate that women we can be empowered by believing in ourselves and 
do things for ourselves, eat right, think right, pray, and just get it. So you said you've been in the business almost 50 years. What was your motivation behind going into this? I mean, you're such a dynamic actress. How did you get involved with this? Well, you know, I grew up in the 50s. There were no images on television or very, very few on film. But I had a passion for acting. I majored in education, taught a few years. And then after I saw that there was some hope through Diane Carroll with her own series and our wonderful Sidney Poitier getting an Oscar, I said, maybe I could do this. So came to Los Angeles and tried it out. That's so phenomenal. I majored in education, too. and. I love giving back and you give back and what are some of the ways that you give back to the community? I try to do my volunteer work. I just went down to my little high school in San Diego and talked to the students there, encouraged them to keep, you know, studying, get their education. It's the one thing that no one can ever take from you. And it offers so many more opportunities and options when you don't drop out of school. You'll make so much more money if you have an education. Oh my gosh, you are so inspirational, Miss Avery. Thank you for talking with us and enjoy yourself today. Okay, I, I intend to have a good time because I get to see the first ladies in the front. Because in church, I only see the backs of their heads. <laughs>